welcome back to Let's Play Link to the Past. Last time, we killed off Moldorm and got our third pendant, which means we get to go pull the Master Sword. Now, to do this is a little bit trickier than one would expect. You gotta go down here and hop in the portal and turn back into a bunny. Now, this is probably one of the harder parts of the game, and I'm not really sure why they expect you to be able to do this in the first place. I had to, like, go find a guide when I was a kid. But you come right over here, and use the magic mirror. When you're back in this world, you scoot over just, like, one pixel. And wait until you get brought back over. Now, don't move, don't touch anything, and then warp again. Walk to the right and back into it. Now you gotta hold right. Oh, not quite. Let's try that again. Hold right. There we go. You can weasel your way down here. And we've made it back down into the regular realm, so now all we gotta do is go get that Master Sword. Master Sword may be a little bit hard to get to from here, though. This is the Dark World, after all. So, we may have to have a little bit of... We may have to have a little bit of fun in order to do this. Now, this is another part that was a little bit tricky to figure out as a kid. Now I got a guy chasing me. Snuck by him, though. Oh, yeah. And you gotta go up into the Lost Woods, because, of course, this is where... the Master Sword is. Let's see. I need to go up and around this way. Now, I should have one fairy left. We're not going to need it, so I'm going to go ahead and let her go while I go inside. Now, I need to not be... I need to not be a bunny, because, like, you can't really do much as a bunny in here. So I'm just going to kill myself off. There we go. Problem solved. Now, this is a little bit troublesome because, of course, I do not have the Master Sword. And these guys will take a lot of hits. So I may be here for a little while. Yeah, it's one down. And two down. All right. Get the little magic. I don't need magic, though. What I could could use a little bit of life. I do, of course, have to be careful of the wall master. Watch for the shadow. Watch for the... Listen for the sound effect. It's probably easier. Haul this right up on that. And now, all I have to do is sneak my way around here, get the big key, because that's important. Put the magic mirror, and get turned into a bunny, warp back to the beginning, leave, and use that magic mirror a couple times. Good two times would probably be pretty good. There we go. And now we're back in the Lost Woods, just like we needed to be. So now all we have to do is go yank out that Master Sword. Stupid crows. We're gonna stop me from having a good time. Look at all them little woodland creatures. Oh hey, you know I have the Book of Menorah, I can read this now. You're not gonna let me read it? There we go. Hey, and we do have those.
Heck yeah. Got the master sword. We can go wreck some face. All right. Oh no, they found Zelda. Well, I'm pretty sure I know where they're taking Zelda. So I think I may... I'm not going to be able to do anything if I just rush straight there. Dang, I was stuck in the wall a little. Oh hey, I can see me again. Go me. There we go. Okay, now, now that I got the Master Sword, there's... Actually, still not really all that much I can do. Kinda don't want to die out here, that'd be pretty spiffy. Now I'm a bunny again. Now again, being a bunny, there's not a whole lot that I can do. So let's fix that problem. There we go, problem solved. Now I kind of want what's in that chest, so... And now I got what's in that chest. Link, I do what I want. Now that I'm Link in the Dark World, I'm not really Link in the Dark World. I'm sort of Link in the Dark World here. As soon as I leave this screen, say, go down here... I'm in some kind of weird pseudo world. I'm effectively in the light world, but it looks a lot like the dark world. Now, with all said and done... There is a way, and I really wanted to do this in the video. I really wanted to. Um... There is a way to become a bunny in the light world. And you can then go pull the Master Sword out as a bunny. I wanted to do that so badly! I couldn't figure out how to do it, though. Every website... I thought I knew how to do it. I saw a guy do it, but I wasn't paying 100% attention during the, like, final steps of doing it. And I kind of thought I knew how to go about doing it, but I tried what I thought you had to do, and it didn't work. I then scoured the internet, and tr trying to find any source that explained how to do that. And aside from, like, one YouTube video of a guy being a bunny in the light world and just saying, LOL, how did this happen? Aside from, like, that, and the fact that I saw somebody do it. I just don't know. I couldn't figure it out. So now that we got the Master Sword, there's a couple things we gotta do. One, I kinda wanna come up here. So there we go, now I have the Ether Medallion, I've got some pretty powerful magic on my side, and I kind of need that Moonstone. See, when all is said and done, I can get to the Dark World now, but, um, I can't get to the Dark World as Link. Like, I can kind of glitch myself into being Link for, like, one screen, which is to say the, um, the Lost Woods that I did there. But I don't know how to... I haven't actually looked into where else I could potentially glitch myself to be Link. So I think it's going to be easier for me to just go get the Moonstone. Now 
Now, of course, here... You're kind of supposed to go up a little... Go up another floor and then drop down in front of the thing. But I'm kind of lazy. Dang! And there's our Moon Pearl. Now, if you want to get back. And I'm back. Okay, so now that I got the Moon Pearl, let's go have some actual fun. Actually, you know what? I can just do this. And now that I have this, um... If it wasn't completely obvious, this is a really kind of nasty glitch that you can do this at all down here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess you can kind of figure out what it is that I did, but what you do is you teleport from right here. You butt up against the wall and teleport, and you have to scoot forward just like one or two pixels, and then when you teleport it back. When you teleport back, as long as you're not moving, it won't try to shove you off the wall, even though I'm technically sort of in the wall. So if I teleport again, now this teleporter is just a little bit into the wall. So if I back into it now, I'm pretty far into this ledge, and if I hold right, it'll drop me right off. Now, of course, directly below this on the map is... This right here, and now I'm successfully in the dark world again. So now what kind of adventures can we get into in the dark world? I would like a heart. A heart! That is nice, thank you. Uh, you know what, I'll just stop here right here at Pseudo Sanctuary. Go, in, go up here, there's like a fortune teller or something? Yeah. If you talk to him, he just like tells you your, tells you dumb, useless information or whatever. So, until next time, everyone, now that we are in the dark world, we're going to have to have a little bit of fun and see where we can go from here.